And I remember asking, you know, Kyle, I said, uh, you know, when, when do we go to the state tournament? Because I said, you know, I, I still want to try to take you there. And Kyle goes, Dad, that was, that was three weeks ago. I knew I was pretty busted up. Um, yeah, I mean, I had fixators all up my body, you know, upper body fixator, middle of my body fixator, lower body fixator. He had all kinds of uh, braces, wraps on my arms. Um, I saw a lot of, uh, you know, I was pretty cut up, pretty beat up, pretty sore. And, uh, but his pain was just something that I, I lived with. Legs, elbow, forearm, quadricep, femur, tibia, ankle, the ability. I still can't feel a lot of stuff in my lower leg. So just pretty much everywhere. I mean, everything just hurt. Nothing has been easy since Brian came home from his long hospitalization. His recovery has been inspiring, but may never be complete. The pain may never go away. Extensive, expensive physical and cognitive therapy could last a lifetime. Been there over 260 times, I think it was, so it's been a long, long fight. Uh, I know they do a lot of stretching because I, I have a lot of uh, poor flexibility. So they're trying to do a lot of flexibility, range of motion, trying to work on my, improve my motor skills, my balance, my, uh, uh, flexibility in my ankles. You just keep fighting, you keep battling, and um, you just can't give up. I just have to keep trying to get as much back as I can get back. And I know it's a long fight, but it's a fight that I can't afford to, to waste a day to try to recover the best I can, not just for me, but for the benefit of my family.